Hi loves. Welcome back to Robin's Realm Readings. We're going to be doing another reading for February 1st. Our Rumi Oracle readings. See, we've got a few left. Thank you so much for following me, for coming back to my channel, everyone. Appreciate your presence. Your precious energy means everything. Thank you for hitting the like button for my videos and leaving comments, too. I appreciate that. Let's see. Let me start with a blessing. Come in, guys and angels. Help me to read for the collective a love message of the higher form bringing them into the accurate energies as po much as possible today, giving them some encouragement, confirmation, synchronicities, hope, and connection. May you be blessed. Let me spray my space. I have sacred anointing oil that is specifically created to segregate areas, protect your auric field from negative energies, and to reset your vibration. Also, it puts you in a sacred space where your mind really does want to, you know, excel instead of being stuck on things it can't fix. Here we go. Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Okay. There we go. Let's see what the message is today, loves. First, I'll pull a card from the Promises. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5, 6. Arise. Arise. Don't stay. Look at this person's got their head in their hands, and they're huddled over on themselves, and they're very, very pitiful. But look at there's a guardian angel or an angel here to raise your vibration. This is a new energy, number one. And number three is where you actually get to make something of your life your love, your situation. Let's see what Rumi says about that. Well, I'm going to say Alana for your child because Rumi just gives a message, but Alana tells the story. Okay, bear with me a minute. What Rumi says, this is Rumi's, Rumi's, this is Rumi's message about this. <clears throat> Wings of hope languish. From lack of use. When wings dissipate and weaken, life begins to lose its value. Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. Your life is meant to confront everything that holds you captive. Don't sit at the bottom of the well, not caring about salvation. Listen to the voice within calling to you. Reach for eminence beyond your own maturity. That was Rumi. Alana. You're being asked to trust, to gently lay to rest the suffering that has been, perhaps, because of what you have labeled as the failure, the doubt, the losses, the setbacks. They are so little in the greater scheme of you. Put them aside. Allow them to rot and become fertilizer for life, but do not try to keep them alive beyond their earthly expiration date, lest you become tainted or poisoned by the rot. So let them go. Instead, focus on what is alive right now. The message for you is you've been downtrodden for long enough now. Perhaps you've been feeling deflated, put upon, underestimated, walked over in mind, body, or spirit by others of your own doubts and fears. Others or your own. Your own could be doing it. Enough now. You're liberated through the hope in your heart, the defiant optimism that buoy, buoys your spirit and demands that you shall have your dawn. You shall rise like the sun and begin anew now. Step up. It is your time. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. I will do, I'm offering Reiki sessions to those who are suffering depression. If you'd like it, you can contact me. Let's take a look at the the um, Keepers of the Light message to go with this. What is it, Spirit Guides? What is the Spirit Guides? What is the message for February 1st? Hmm. I feel there's a certain amount of loneliness. and It, it gutturals inside like nothing new can happen, but it is. And you know what? Rise up and accept things as they are. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. 
So have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness, for what's right for you. Right? All right. Keepers of the light, what is the message today for February 1st? Green Tara. Supreme protection is here for you. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Wow. I'd say that's a good one for this reading. Wonderful. Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle brings for this day. February 1st for everybody. Thank you, everybody. I love you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope everybody's well. You get all my love. Here we go. What is the wisdom of the oracle for this day, February 1st, please? Blessed and the fates. They both wanted to come out. Blessed energy allows you to float. This is Master Builder. Now you can rise up to meet your own expectations. You have supreme protection to do so. You should be taking advantage of that and not being in a worried state. The state of lack, you should be in the state of plenty. Because look, the fates are here to deliver your blessing. Whatever it is that you need to bring in and call in for yourself, my loves. Okay? That's what I'm showing. I'm not going to go into great detail with those. Um, let me take a look at the energies for the week, though. Let's take a look at love for February 1st. Not the week, February 1st. Let's see what the love energies are for you guys. These are stubborn cards. These things must live forever. I don't know if they're made of plastic or what, but lordy. All right, here we go. What is the energy for my guides for February 1st for everybody in love? What's the greatest love message? They said start with the love oracle, so I will. I was doing those. Love message for everyone in the collective. Embrace. Through each other you find the missing pieces. However that applies to you, my loves, I'm uncertain. One more shuffle and we'll look. All right, here we go. So love energies, please, for February 1st. The main energies that are popping out. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. Okay. Oh, maybe somebody will be coming back to you to make peace. Somebody might have said something abruptly to you and hurt you, got you in this downtrodden state. They might be in the frame of mind to come back forward and bring you peace and justice and balance. Um, no, maybe not. I'm sorry, this is the Five of Wands. The energy is that you within yourself You need to rise up. This Five of Wands is conflict of emotional interest in love. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, I mean, Aries, Taurus, I mean, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Tell me more about this Five of Wands with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone not coming forward and speaking because they have conflict of interest about their Four of Wands about their home. And this is funny because this is one and three and that's four. Interesting. So what is the, the what is the position of this person? They are in a, in the in the not with you, not embraced with you, not connected to you. Tell me more. Lovers. Lover actually came out in reverse with a heart font in reverse. So someone has been separated from someone they want to connect back up with. Tell me if they should. Not really. Well, maybe. I mean, the seven of, Kevin of Cups is here, and somebody might have realized that they made a mistake. They hurt somebody really bad, and they want to come back. They were the real one. The fates might be bringing them back. Tell me. Yep. They're watching for sure. They're trying to discern when is the right time to come back to you. When is the right time to try to balance out this relationship and get back into um, at least correcting a relationship within themselves or in their life. All right, let's talk about career. Give me the energies of career, please, for the general uh, elect, uh, general public here. 
Thank you guys. Thank you. This is just general. I don't know if it applies to you or not, but it could be confirmation for somebody's situation. Here we go. Career. So the energies for career are brand new start. So this is February 1st and some people are starting a brand new job today. Um, and that's good. That, that shows that thing, there's revival in the land, you know, and we need that for our money anyway. And we also, we have the two of wands. So don't worry about it. You've got the ace of wands or whoever you are. The two of wands is when you're on the, out on the road looking, deciding, where do I go? Where do I go? Well, apparently you landed something, okay? Ace of wands is when you've got the one thing, and it's working for you. It's a new start. Tell me more about career, please, February 1st. Brand new job, magician, making things happen. You're finally doing something, everybody. How wonderful. Make it happen. Whatever you have to do to bring in that new abundance to yourself. You got to keep it all balanced. So the magician is a master of alchemist. He knows how to maintain his relationships, his bank accounts, his, his time alone, his space, his money. He knows how to manifest his energy, use it wisely. I swear to God, this looks like my friend Donnie. And he's a tarot reader too. Well, that's because he and I got together and I read for him too. Okay, here we go, Donnie. You're the magician, baby. Page of Coins is coming, so money's increasing. There'll be another offer on the table for many of you. Now let's talk about health for February 1st. A general health perspective for everyone that will be watching this video. General health perspective for everyone watching the video. Oops. Okay, some of you are going to be sick. Some of you are going to be down having procedures on Monday or preparing for a procedure. Many of you are going to be going through something, a change. And it's it's, it's kind of stressful because 10, of, 10 is an ending. Maybe you'll be ending pain too. Tell me. Maybe you'll be, be getting a procedure. Yeah, death in reverse. So something's happening where you are, some of you are going to have a close call too with the surgery. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Please take care of yourselves. Don't have unnecessary procedures. It not especially not during Mercury retrograde. Okay, you guys, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Unless you're absolutely 100% sure that you'll come out of that 100% relieved. I wouldn't do it. Tell me more. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for this? Health reading. Oh, I'm not taking those. Wheel of Fortune in reverse for this reading, please. We have fortune in reverse for this reading, please. A health reading. Six of coins is in reverse. You might lose something. Something. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't give away your energy. Don't um, expect miracles, but definitely be very cautious about who you are giving your energy to. Uh... It's like somebody's not giving it back to you or they're not telling you everything you need to know about a procedure you're asking questions on to. Remember I said that. When I worked for an internal medicine office, I told people about their procedures. I even explained to them things I knew about it in order to help them to be prepared and made sure they were prepared. A lot of people don't do that. They got 10 people to do that type of work and none of them get the job done right. You're freaking out and you're like, will somebody please tell me what's going on here? <laughs> All right, clarify this health reading. Okay, clarified by the Eight of Cups. Somebody's going to leave a decision, and they're not going to do it. They're not going to do the procedure yet. Wait till after Mercury retrograde if you can. Let's see finance, please, for everybody. Let's talk about money. Finance. Five of Cups, still sorrowful, still not enough, still suffering from financial lack. Clarify. Yep, it's a coins in reverse. Many of you are having such a hard time. You will have to postpone a procedure. And a lot of you are up in your head about that and not arising because the money isn't here. But you based your existence on money and not your soul. Ace of Swords, you've got a Eureka coming in your money. You're going to get some insight and maybe a, a declaration of uh, truth about something. You're good. Clarify. Yep. You'll be able to take all this time that you've spent learning what you're doing, what you need to do. You've done a lot of research on how to revive yourself. You've got a lot of wisdom, you guys, and you're bringing it out now with this Ace of Swords, and you're going to use it the best way you know how. 
Yeah. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So you're going to be jumping on the money thing, and you're not going to mess around. You're going to be strong, passionate, forward. You're going to find a way. That's what I have for you. You're going to find a way. Let me have a health message for this particular reading on hell. Walking away from something that doesn't feel right. The root cause of all disease is a negative attitude about taking care of yourself. Hmm. How you define taking your care of yourself? Create a new self-care practice today. Observe your comfort level when it comes to being good to yourself. Discomfort is a wise teacher. One more card. A Romance Angel card for romance to end this reading. What's your message, please, for this page of swords that's watching somebody and trying to decide if they should come back to them? They're conflicted inside. They think it's going to be a battle. They don't know how to take back their words. They want to come back and embrace a beautiful lover that they have. But there's damage down here, and they're hurting over it, and the, the lover's hurting over it, too. Don't get me wrong. Both parties feel it. Past life relationship. Come forward, love. If you want to come forward, come forward, love. What else? Express your love. So come forward and clear the air and start over again if you want. Love is that way. People are not that hard. Most people are like this. They only put on that they're doing better because they don't want to hurt anybody else. But the truth is, very most of us are longing one way or another. So let's try to figure out how to arise out of all that, okay? I hope you have a wonderful day today. Make it a good day. It's up to you. You're all beautiful people, and you're powerful people, and you have master number 22. Co-creating, building with the divine universe, changing things, altering the way you look at things, being, being, um, getting a new start in a career, being blessed, getting an offer, a job offer, being able to manifest what you want with this brand new start. That's what I see. May you be loved. May you love. May you be loved the way that you love. And may you be blessed the way that you bless abundantly. Namaste. See you on the flip side. Bye.